Good morning, wherever you are. My name is Apostle Emmanuel Okan. Today, we are in the Holy Week. That is the Easter celebration. And we are celebrating Palm Sunday today. And I believe that you are blessed. You are blessed for being part of the celebration. Because last year, by this time, all countries were not able to celebrate the Easter. And by grace, by doing his mercies and love, we are able to celebrate Easter that stands with the Palm Sunday. So you are blessed, you are blessed, you are, you are blessed. If you can see me and you can hear me wherever you are, I want you to bow down your heads and let's pray. Father, we thank you, we bless your name. Indeed, we say you are God. For we have come to share your word to your children. Open their hearts, let your spirit be poured upon them. Open their hearts, open their mind, open their ears. So that they will understand and listen to do listen to your word and understand it and be doer of your word through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Today is Palm Sunday. I believe this Palm Sunday. You are you, you are entering into a, a triumphant uh, mood. And I believe that your life will be transformed. This day, this is time with Apostle Emmanuel Okang from Ghana, as I always do it, and as we always come here to listen to the word of God. This day, this Sunday, I, I'm not going to talk nothing so special, but I'm going to bring your mind on one or two things as believer or uh, as believers that uh, we have to know and we have to be doer uh, of the word and fulfill our our calling fulfill our ministry because the prophecy of jesus christ on his birth came to pass it came to pass his death his teachings his death resurrection ascension came to pass but hear me church you have to also fulfill your ministry you also have to fulfill your ministry you have to also fulfill your calling now the topic for today is that what i'm going to talk about is that christian drop out christian drop out christians drop out when you talk of dropping out means that by by doing something and later you 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 you, you come back and you stop whatever you need to do to fulfill uh, your purpose in life is this it, we have something that we call a, a, a school drop out school drop out uh when you your parents put you into education all of a sudden you be and you stop you stop doing what you are doing you stop going to school you stop learning it's it's, it's also a, a, a drop out or a, a school drop out and for this morning as i say we are going to talk about christian drop out as with, with my explanation i believe that you understand where i'm taking you to please kindly like this video share it to be a blessing to someone share it to be a blessing to someone call a friend to come and listen to the word of god and i believe that by the end god will bless you so please kindly see your comment uh like it and share and so a seat to support god's work i need a good camera a good phone that has good camera and uh, to, to do more than what I am doing and uh, to do more than what I am doing now. And I believe that when you support God will bless you. So seek to support God's work. Amen. But we are going to talk about drop out. Christians drop out. Christians what drop out. Everyone, Christians drop out. When you say Christians drop out, listen, every Christian has a ministry every christian has a what a ministry given to him by god or given to him by the lord in fact every christian has the same ministry given to him by god this does not mean that every christian will have the same occupation or that it will not have 
different areas that he or she may serve. Do you understand? So if you open the Bible in first Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 tells us that God has given us God has given to us every believer. God has given to us what every what believer the ministry of reconciliation, winning the loss of what the loss to Christ, winning what the loss to Christ. So the ministry of reconciliation that is the loss to Christ. The scripture even tells us that what to say in order to win men to Christ is in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19. The 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19, I, I read, the Bible says that to wit, that is to say, to wit, that is to say that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Do you understand? Not imputing their trespasses upon them and has committed unto us every believer the word of reconciliation that is what the gospel message so scripture continues and says that now then we when you talk of we it means that every believer we every believer are ambassadors for christ as though god did beseech you by us that is when it, when you control from second corinthians chapter 5 verse what 20. so therefore seeing we have received this ministry winning the lost winning the lost souls going for evangelism as we have mercy we faint not that is when you read first corinthians chapter 4 verse 1 the bible said therefore see we have received what this ministry when we talk of this ministry winning the lost souls you see as we have received or we have messages we faint not so god wants us to use you wherever you are being positioned or wherever you are, you are present in your job Never see it that it is an error to find your place at a place whereby you cannot evangelize. Wherever you find yourself, you need to win soul. In your job place, you, 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 you need to win soul. If you're a security man, you need to win soul at your security post. If you're a doctor, you need to win soul at the hospital. If you're a believer, you understand if you're a businessman you need to win soul to god in your business if you're a songwriter or who where where where, where you are being positioned you see it is not an error to find your place yourself in a certain places because god god is divine and god position us a divine way to win soul to to, to him a winning soul is one of every believer that he must what do it amen praise the lord so god wants to use you where you where you are placed or where you are present now you see to win the lost around you to to, to the saving knowledge of jesus christ my brother my sister you have a specific ministry that God has given to every believer. That is your what your primary what ministry. You understand? I know one man who used to work in a slaughterhouse. That they, they slot the cow and the gold in the slaughterhouse, and anytime people come to give, give them contract all his customers he was able to turn them from the world into christ 
I know one woman who has a supermarket. Eh? And before you enter into a supermarket, it will write John 316. Before you enter, it will, the, the sensor of the camera will write John 316. For God so loved that he gave his only because that who ever believe in shall not perish. And after the, 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 the sensor of the camera has recited John 316 before the door will open. Understand? So he said, we, we can evangelize, we can win souls to God around us. It is winning soul or winning the lost ones is our primary word ministry. You, you don't need to be an ordained, God has already ordained all of us. God has already ordained all of, of, of us. So you need to win soul to Christ. You understand? You might be a doctor, you might be a lawyer, you might be a secretary, a housewife, a gardener, a janitor, a nanny. You still need to what? To fulfill your primary what? Ministry by winning soul, by winning what? The losses. But God don't, but God don't want a lazy person. Anyone that does not win soul to Christ is a lazy person. And when you are lazy, you become poor. Remember, the Bible says that he who wins souls is wise. He who wins souls, what? Is wise. So, God wants you to use your opportunities to witness for Jesus Christ. You might ask, what opportunities does a house does a housewife have? Well, her children, family, neighbors, mailman, and paper boy, etc., are all candidates for evangelism. A boss of a company. You have opportunity. Your security, your bodyguard, your secretary, your workers, your assistant. You will need to proclaim Jesus Christ, witness Christ to them. Don't be a Christian dropout. Every Christian dropout is someone that does not win soul to Christ and does not win and does not witness Jesus Christ to anyone. So those people that does not witness Jesus Christ to anyone, that does not win soul into the kingdom of God, is a Christian dropout. If you have a saloon, if you work in a saloon, if you're a truck driver, if you're a driver, you need to win soul. That we, you need to win lost souls. God did not establish you in your business just to for you to have a blessings of riches and money, but you need to win soul. In your marriage, you need to win soul. In your community, you need to win soul. Do you understand? And soul winning is 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 a divine obligation to every believer that i'm using the word believer because there's no way unbeliever will go for evangelism and there's no way a sinner will go to, for evangelism you understand so you need to win soul to christ you see what about the errors of christian service you see there are many you might be a sunday uh, 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 school teacher in the will of God. But foremost, you should be a soul what? Winner. You might be an usher in the church. But foremost, you need to win what? Soul. You need to be a soul winner. You might be a minister or a, 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 a minister to, to, to minister songs to people in church, you still need to be a soul what winner. You might you can be the accountant in the church. You still need to go and go and win soul to God. 
it doesn't matter your your, your re reputation it doesn't matter that kind of anointing you carry and if you carry anointing the anointing is to win souls of place some pastors are very lazy they find it difficult to leave the church and go outside to go and win souls to go and win lost souls to christ they would rather send the, 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 the young young pastors in the in the church and they will, they will, they will come with, with no soul but you that you carry the anointing you that you god have called you you need to lead your people even jesus christ or sharing his, his disciples he prayed for them so as a pastor if you want to send your your your, your young pastors you need to pray with them and send them to the world and preach the good tidings to all living creatures do you understand so as as you have to understand that this is your ministry as second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 8 is that this is what your ministry so every any entity on this earth do you understand hosanna hosanna at the trumpet entry of jesus christ when people were hailing him, Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. In such atmosphere, in such mood or such event, he, he, he was able to get people to follow him. He was able to get people to follow him. Do you understand? People follow him does not mean that where, where are the 12 disciples, but people believe in him. So so we 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 need to go and do the work. Of an evangelist and to prove our ministry as a matter of fact everyone has a primary ministry and the primary ministry if you like it or not if you're a believer you need to win so to christ you see so as i continue i just want to ask you a question have you dropped out of this have you dropped out of this your ministry have you dropped out your ministry or maybe as i suspect that most christians are not really aware of their god and trusted responsibility to win lost souls you may be a, a, a you, you may be a ditch digger but god wants you to win souls Christian drop out. Christians drop out. Are you one? Are you one? Are you a Christian drop out? You might argue. You might object. You uh, you might object, but you cannot avoid the truth. It will it will come back to haunt you one day at the judgment seat of Christ. When Christians will, will, will be judged as to how they discharge their responsibilities for degree of reward. Do you understand? Or loss of what? Reward. Most Christians are not following Jesus. Most Christians are not following what? Jesus. Let me ask you a question. Are you one? Hmm? Are you what? One. Remember, Jesus said, follow me. Follow me. And I will make you fishes of men. Matthew chapter 4, verse 90 says that, follow me. I will make you fishes of what? Men. If you are not fishing men, then you are not following Jesus Christ. If you are not what? Fishing men, then you are not following Jesus what? Christ decide for yourself to 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 follow christ following christ is not that i love jesus it's not all by praying it's not all by reading the bible they are all important but the most important thing is what following jesus is by winning soul that's what jesus christ said uh, uh, said to peter from today, you will not fish fishes, but you will fish what? Men. Brethren, it is not too late. 
and life is very very short do you know when you will die no do this work fulfill your primary ministry don't be a christian dropout if you are one then i'm sorry i've come to proclaim to you to announce to you to remember you that you need to go for evangelism that is why i cannot stay away from facebook preaching the word of god i don't only preach on facebook i preach in church i also go for evangelism one-on-one -on -one evangelism making sure people know god, god. making sure people know uh, jesus christ i witness christ to them do you understand sometimes i pity some people they say that me i cannot go for evangelism i cannot win soul but i can support uh, the work how do you support the work yes it is a blessing it is an opening of heavens to you when you you bless the work of god by 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 sowing seed by buying equipment to the church yes it is important but you as well as you are giving you are giving open doors to you but your actions your 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 your, your doing your work let me say that your work on this earth as a stewardship is to go for evangelism as the bible says that in mark chapter 16 verse 15 it says that go ye into the world and preach the gospel to all living creatures jesus christ is not said so to only disciples to only men and women of god but to every believer to every member of the church if you are the mother of the church the father of the church the church father the grandfather of the church the great great grandfather of the church you also have to go for evangelism to win what lost souls and remember anyone that lose that that win lost souls is wise do you understand and there is joy in heavens the bible says that look the laborers are few the laborers are few but the harvest is more where are the laborers where are the laborers you and i are laborers we need to labor to receive a reward at the judgmental day you understand praise the lord hallelujah amen so don't argue that me i'm not being called you are called to fulfill your primary ministry you understand so more christians are not following jesus christ and i believe that you know be part of them amen decide for yourself to follow christ and to seek the loss as jesus christ did a lot of what is called christianity is self-centered rather than christ-centered a lot of what is called christianity is self-centered rather than christ-centered the book of revelation describes the church of the last days as being like lukewarm if i say lukewarm you understand self indulgence self indulgent and spiritual bankrupt because in revelation chapter 3 verse 16 to 18 it talks about laodicea the greek meaning is right of the people the name of the last days the name of the last day church it implies the emphasis on the Christian's what right rather than the Christian's what responsibility. So if you read first, uh, 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 if you read Timothy, Timothy, that is the second book, chapter four, verse three to four, says that God described how Christians in the last day would heap themselves teachers to take care of what they are here the exact opposite of the evangelistic spirits as seen in verse 5 that is second timothy which tells us that to do the work of the evangelist 
also endures afflictions. The opposite of self-indulgence. A Christian, or let me say it like, like this, a Christ-centered ministry will reach out to, to what? To the lost. A Christ-centered ministry will reach what? To the what? To the lost. My brother and sister, the Bible says that I touch thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick, that is the word, the living, and the dead at this appearing of his kingdom. And it went to us in that preach the word. Be instant in season and what? Out of season. Reprove, rebook, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. So when Jesus comes at the rapture, we will be responsible to the church to preach what? The word. So preaching the word is not only pastors, bishop, prophets, prophetess, evangelists, and uh, as you have imagined them. No. But it's for everyone. Even if you're a housewife, if you're a madam, Mm? Mm? Mm. Palm Sunday is today. What are you doing for Christ to be happy that his death was not waste on earth? Well, it's your decision. You can decide to win so, you can decide not to win so. On the judgment jud jud day, then you question, you answer the question from God. You see? So scriptures gives us many reasons why people drop out uh, uh, of, of the ministry. That is winning or soul winning. Given by the Lord to every believer. If you read Matthew chapter 13 verse 21 to 22 says that, give us a few reasons. Give us a few reasons. Is that to begin with, to begin with, the witness may easily offend how often this happens? Let's see. Tribulation and persecution arises because of the work. And as the Bible says that, by and by is offended. By and by is offended. Again, showing the spirit of self-centeredness. Hmm? Secondly, cares of the world often distract us. You see? We care of, we, we are so caring to the things of the world that also distract us. So many Christians are so busy with a secular activities or something even religious activities so that they have no time for a relationship with the Lord or to win soul to the Lord. These things choke the word. Again, in the spirit of self indulgence, Matthew chapter 13, verse 22, tell us that this caused person to become unfruitful. And God wants us to produce fruit, which is souls want to go. That is John chapter 4, verse 36. You see, so don't let this thing hinder you. To be, to be a soul winner does not mean that we are neglect our other responsibilities to our family. To be a soul winner does not mean that we, we neglect our what? Responsibilities to our family, to our job, or the church. But being a soul winner is one ministry common to every what? Believer. Jesus said, and I, I quote again, he said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every what? Creature. That is Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Becoming a soul winner means preparation. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15 speaks of us preparing ourselves to give out what? The gospel. Jesus Christ loves you and he needs you. He came and died for you and I. 
and we are celebrating him every year, every day, every day. In fact, every day we celebrate him. We worship him. We love him. Celebrating Jesus Christ is that knowing that you are a follower to him and to preach the word to the lost souls. My brother, my sister, we have no time on this earth. Preach the word. Go into the word and preach the word. Don't be so pompous. Don't be. Don't feel so you are. Don't, don't feel that you are so big. Look, no one is big in the kingdom of God. No one is big at the face of God. And that nothing of your, your complaining, your affliction does not change God. But he rather is waiting for you to change you. Be a soul winner. Ah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It is one of the jobs that you need to do than seeking for another job. My sister, my brother, brethren, beloved, I've not come here just to say something for you to look at me. You understand? But I've come here to let you know that Christian dropout is not part of our Christian life. Don't be a Christian dropout. If you are one from today, you need to put a stop to it. We are in a week of celebrating the death of Christ. Are you still going to be in your sin, your iniquity, your transgressions? No. You need to change your ways. And changing your ways is accepting Jesus Christ once again, rededicating your heart, your mind, your soul to him. And then it will make you a new person and we soul to Christ. Read the Bible, read the word of God, and your life shall be a blessing. God bless you and God keep you. Once again, my name is Apostle Emmanuel Okain. God has opened his arms and he wants to receive you. If you want to pray with me, say this prayer as a, a new believer. Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for your word. I have accepted you as my own. Come and dwell in my heart. Make me a new person. I am a changed person now. I will worship you and I will praise you. Thank you for dying for me and saving me from the world. Help me to know you and help me to get close to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. Amen. God bless you and God keep you. Look for a Bible-believing church and, and attend. Study the word of God and be active in Christ. Be Christ-like. Be Christ-centered. Don't be self-centered. Don't curse of the things of the world. Curse of the things in the word of God. And you keep receiving the countenance of God. Kindly like this video and share it. So a seed to support God's work. So a seed. Be giver. Be generous to God's work. If you can see my camera, my camera is very dark. I need a good camera to expand or I need support to expand whatever I come to do on Facebook. Help me. Help the ministry. And it shall be a testimony with the blessings of God. Peace. Shalom. See you tomorrow, Monday. Bye-bye. Au revoir.